Hello, Internet. Today I want to show you a new Python library that is about deep learning on graph structure data. In my last video, I showed you about PyTorch Geometric, which of course runs only in PyTorch. And if you want a framework agnostic library that runs on TensorFlow and, let's say, on PyTorch, let's have a look at the Deep Graph library. Easy deep learning on graph. Now, to install it, it is rather simple because you have a very nice page here, installation process. You have, you select if you have some CUDA cores on your GPU, your package. I have a Conda. My uh, operating system is, of course, Windows. I have a Python version 3.9 installed. And then I just get Conda install channel DGL team DGL. This is all. And if you install this, what you end up with is the ready installed library in your Jupyter Notebook. And I show here, no classification with DGL. And here we go. Of course, I, for demonstration purposes, will operate today in PyTorch. And as you can see here, the command is straightforward, import DGL. This is it. The library is up and running. Now, if you're interested to have a first look at a library, I always recommend have a look at the demonstration files or what they call here a blitz introduction to DGL. You remember the node classification with DGL when we had a look at the graph convolutional network by Thomas Kipf. This is exactly this example that we are referring to. And I would like to go with you through the code, execute the code in real time. And this would be the, the, the aim for today. Of course, the second task is link prediction of the node classification using graph neural networks. Then you can write your own GNN module. And as you already have seen in PyTorch Geometric, you have quite a variety of models that you can choose from. Now, a very nice and interesting touch of this is the community behind this library. You have here the GitHub page from the distributed deep machine learning community, a community of awesome machine learning projects. You have here the people. And what is really nice here, we have a public DGL package. It's a Python package built to ease deep learning on graph on top of existing deep learning frameworks like uh, you have seen TensorFlow or PyTorch. And this community here is quite an active community because you see here DGL. We have the release 072. This was released just 18 days ago. And I think this is a very nice community. You have 174 contributors contributing to this. You have C++, Python, CUDA, of course, whatever you know. And if you want to have a short overview over the library structure, it is more or less the same. Like we already had a look at PyTorch Geometric. You have your CPU, your GPU, or your cluster structure. You run on PyTorch or on TensorFlow. And then you have your different modules. Of course, you have a GPU ready, easy to learn, get started. Yes, yes, yes. And then you have some projects and what is nice that you have some uh, life science community within this community and you have a knowledge graph community where they give you examples you have a lot of papers so this is some great documentation about graph neural networks deep learning geometric deep learning but i would say let's go back and let's start coding this is here my jupyter lab i'm running on uh, local on my laptop on windows 10 an anaconda environment and i would say let's start with the code let's have a look at it online so node classification you are familiar i showed you in my last example by thomas kipf this is exactly what we implement we load pytorch we import dgl now for the node classification i already showed you uh, my last video here, the Ochav publication from 1917. We don't have to go this again. We load the Cora dataset. 
as I already told you, you have 2,708 scientific publication in seven classes on seven topics. You have about 5,500 links. You have a dictionary of words with 1,433 words for each publication. And each publication in the data set is described by our CR1 valued word vector, indicating the absence or the present of the corresponding word from the dictionary. This is it. As you can see, if to import, it's a very simple command. We import a core graph data set. We have 2,700 nodes. This is the number of edges, the number of classes, perfect, the number of categories. This is it. As you can see here, DJL graph can store node features and edge features in two dictionary-like attributes called nData and eData. And the core data set, the graph contains the following node features. So for the node, you have one, two, three, four, five different features. You can have a look at these features and you see, okay, edge features, features g.eData are missing. So first thing is, yeah, I just want to show you that if you have, if you're familiar with the classical graph analysis and you have network X installed and you're familiar with network X, you can make DGL to network X or from network X. So no problem at all to convert this, this visualization graph. And here we are with the graph convolution network. And now we built now our model. We have our graph convolutional model from Thomas Kipp from the publication from last video. And it is rather straightforward. You import DGL your neural network, the graph convolution, and then you define the convolution one, the graph convolution with the in features and the hidden features, and a graph convolution two, so two, two layers stacked. And you have from the hidden features to the output and this is the number of classes of our nodes so our node classification task we have a forward network we have on the first of course uh, a reload function and the model more or less if this is our class gcn we have gcn the data the shape then we have here the hidden features let's say 16 and the output should be our seven classes, allocation of the nodes to our seven classes. So this is done rather easily. And if you check for the model, this is exactly what we have. We have in our 1,433 dictionary words, our hidden structure is 16, normalization, activation, and then from convolution two, we have now our 16 hidden features. Our output will be in the seven classes, one of the seven classes. And this is it. And we are already here training now the graph convolutional network. Now the training function is familiar what we know. Torch, we have an atom optimizer. We set the validation and test accuracy to zero. Then we have the different features. And then let's say for, I don't know, let's say for 50, this is just for demonstration purposes, we run now the training process. You compute the prediction, you compute the loss function, you compute the accuracy on the training and validation and test data set. You save the best validation accuracy and the corresponding test accuracy. You print it out here. This is the model, the same model. Oh, now we have 160, let's, let's, I don't know, 32. That's a little bit overkill, but let's do the 32 and then retrain our model. And oh, 50 is maybe, let's say 150. This is rather fast as you can see. And so we start with a loss of almost two and then after 100 epochs, we already had lost 0.01. Validation accuracy is 0.78, of course, because the network is not trivial. And this is it. So our model, we have now 32 hidden features and our output in the seven categories for the node classification achieved this in a great amount of time. You have, yeah, this training was done on a CPU. Of course, you have now the GPU and even a TPU, a tensor processing unit version, where you just have to say, 
that you want to uh, specify your GPU or your TPU. This is it for a forest overview. What can I show you anything else? The introduction, yeah. Why not try out the link prediction network? If you connect to it, you will get a Jupyter notebook with all the code already ready for you just to download. You have here a follow description for each cell explaining what's happening, all the data, all the models you build. You will learn that uh, the, the link as always, of course, between a presentation between a pair of nodes. So if you have an unstructured graph, there will be some additional steps you have to take, but the functions are really nice. And as you can see, this is the ready. This is already a Jupyter notebook ready to be executed. Here you can download your Jupyter notebook, run the notebook, and learn for yourself. Very interesting. Play a little bit around with the structure of the model, with the parameters, get a feeling for the execution speed. If you're looking for further examples, remember GitHub is there for you, DGL. You have the examples and then quite actual PyTorch two days ago. This is great. So this is an active community. You can have here a look at all the different examples given the documentation is excellent. The first run was successful. I had no errors. I had no problems at all. So for first look, I can recommend DGL. Very nice library for geometric deep learning on graph structure data. This was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And next video, we have a very interesting topic. We're going to look at also a graph library, but on a very different system, a very latest development. I'll see you in the next video.